Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow Aero Gordon's red heirloom cherry tomato plants from the cuttings. I have this red heirloom cherry tomato going on here in this harvest excel. I see two branches that are kind of outgrowing. So I am going to take these two cuttings and start them in another Aero Gordon and see how soon I can get the tomatoes from the cuttings. Here is one cutting and here is one more. I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup. And removing some leaves. I see some flower birds being developed on this, so I'm going to remove these. So I will leave these two leaves in the second branch. I see some new development here so I am just leaving that as is but removing the bigger leaves. So this one is also ready. I have two sponges ready. I already cut and opened them little bit. Just insert the cutting and place it in aero garden baskets. That's it. Now we can place straight into aero garden. I'll do the same thing. Just insert the cutting, place it in aero garden pod. That's it. I'm just leaving them in the center until they are well established. Once these plants established well, meaning they develop nice roots and they started showing the new development of branches or leaves, etc. I will move them to the edges. I will add water and I will also add aerogoden nutrition right away. I will use the aerogoden nutrition as recommended, which is 8 ml. Uh, with every feeding for the Aero Garden Harvest. It's day 4. Let's take a look at the pods. Oh wow! Look at these beautiful roots. There's so many roots. Wow! This is amazing. Now the other one. Hmm. I don't see any roots on this pod. Hopefully this is going to survive. It's day 10. The cuttings are looking really great. There is a lot of new development on both cuttings. In fact, these must be the plants now. Let's take a look at the root system. Look at this. Wow. It looks beautiful. And I see a bunch of flower birds on both plants. Since they already have nice roots developed, I would say these plants are strong enough to handle the flower birds. Let's see where they will end up. It's day 20. The plants have established very well. There is lots of development on both plants. This is coming very strong. The other plant also having similar growth. Lots of flower birds. They even started blooming. And there are so many branches. And they are all coming very nice. It's day 20. Plants are coming up nice. And I see a little baby tomato already. 
this is very exciting it's day 45 plants are doing really nice they started producing tomatoes and the tomatoes are growing very well the plants are still producing lots of flowers and those flowers are turning into tomatoes so it's all going very well it's day 55 the plants are doing really well there are lots of tomatoes all over the plant one tomato started ripening already it's changing the colors nice that's really good news and lot of tomatoes grown to a decent size i think they are matured now they are going to start ripening it's day 60 the first two tomato ripened very well and it is ready to harvest so i'm harvesting it now wow it's actually a pretty big size this is looking like a mega cherry tomato this is way bigger than this quarter coin so this is good and i see a couple of tomatoes started ripening already this is really good normally if i grow these same plants from seed i have to wait for about 90 days to get a fully ripened tomato but starting from the cuttings I am able to harvest the tomatoes from day 60 itself. So it's pretty clear that growing plants from cuttings is very effective method. The plants will be fast and productive. The only issue I see in this method is some of the branches are getting pretty tall and growing a little far from the lights. Not only these two plants. I started a couple of gardens using the cuttings and I see the same issue in all gardens. This is not a huge deal. Most of the plant is still under the lights and their productivity is not impacted in any way. Except this one issue, everything else is a positive sign in this method. I will still continue growing from seeds. However, growing from cuttings is becoming my preferred method. I tried the same method on other tomato varieties like Orange Hat, Roma, Golden Harvest, Geranium Case and 42 Day Tomato and all of them turned out very well in Aero Garden and other hydroponic systems. Since this process is very straightforward and the results are coming very fast, this is going to be my preferred method now on. That is all for now. Thanks for watching. Happy Aero Gardening.